welcome to another video. Today I thought I would do something kind of vlog style. Not sure where this is going to go, but let me tell you, I've got a lot of organising that needs doing. So today, let's do some organising and then just see where it goes, shall we? So I'm currently stood in what I keep trying to refer to as my dining room, but it's not anymore. It's my living room. I did a whole makeover on this a couple of days ago and now what was the sitting room is um, a bit of a pigsty. I mean, it looks like a tornado has gone through there. So um, let me show you what we're working with. Bear in mind, this is just because I was um, really in the zone with doing this makeover. It's not normally like this. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I have jackdaws nesting in my chimney, which is great fun because I can't get chimney sweep out right now to very delicately remove them. So I need to clean that up. And a lot of the pile in this corner right here was actually gonna go to the charity shop, but now they're all closed for the time being. So I just need to find a way to store that out of sight and out of mind. So the plan for today in here is just to get all of this stuff put away and looking a lot less um, like the way it does right now. on the room let me show you how it's looking right now this side of the room much much better that fender right there that's going to nan's this side of the room not so much the pile in the corner is stuff that's going to the charity shop when they open and then some of this stuff is going to nan's and needs to be put away and i will update you but yeah this is uh how it's looking it is definitely better than it was it's a little bit later in the day i got changed because i was freezing cold and I've also got a little bit distracted because I had a package come through which is very exciting so I'm going to show you what it is. Look at the weights in the corner as if I use those more than like once a fortnight. tables and they arrived today I forgot they were coming and they're so nice look at these they're like little mid-century modern style bedside tables they are like solid wood with a little bit of particle board but they're really nice they feel very heavy and durable but you won't believe how cheap they were <laughs> they were 22 pounds 50 each they were from the store JYSK or JISK I'm not sure how you pronounce it. They were so cheap, so cheap. I was not expecting them to actually be this nice. I thought they might be a little bit flimsy for that price, but um, very impressed. And the reason I got these is to replace the gold leaf bedside tables in my bedroom, just for the time being. They're not going anywhere because they were a labor of love. That was um, an adventure doing those but I'm a little bit hesitant to use them because I don't have a piece of glass cut for the top yet. And I think they would look a lot nicer in my guest bedroom actually because the wood is kind of dark. So I've been looking for something with a much bigger drawer that's more practical for my bedroom. I found these, I'm so happy. I'm gonna put these in place and show you what they look like. Okay, so this is the before. Not sure where I'm gonna put all of my day six albums. I'm gonna have to find a place. And that's it. That is the bedside table. I think it looks so cute. And this is the one on the other side. All done. I think that looks so good. Oh, I'm really pleased with those. I think they look nice and symmetrical. Good morning. Are you ready to spice up your life? I don't know, but it's another self-isolation Sunday. So I'm gonna do some more bits around the house. So let's go downstairs. 
Last night I made a curry in the slow cooker. It was kind of just to throw anything I have in the slow cooker and hope for the best kind of meal. And it was really good actually. It was sweet potato, lentils, tomato, ton of spices, curry powder. What else did I put in there? Red onion. It worked really well. And um, now I have curry for days. So I'm gonna go put this in the fridge and um, do a little bit of tidying up in here and catch up with you in a second. <laughs> So it's a little later now, I've tidied up my bed so I can take some Instagram pictures of my new bedside tables. I think it's looking kind of cute. And I was actually looking through this magazine, House Beautiful, earlier, and I saw, if I can find it, this house, which has pretty much the same layout as my house. A lot of old Victorian houses have this layout, but I'm always really interested to see how other people do up theirs. So they've got a similar setup with their sitting room, how it's got a gap going through and that's how they've set up the bay window which is really nice and this is the kitchen you can see where the door is and the hallway that's the same as mine they don't have a chimney here and they seem to have had some kind of extension going out here which just made the kitchen really really big i like this a lot dream kitchen right here so yeah i just thought that was really interesting and i would show you what that looked like and then also this house Look at this, that is my dream pink house. And the interiors are, ooh, so nice. Anyway, I'm not gonna spoil the whole of the uh, March 2020 edition of this magazine, but uh, yeah, I was just flicking through, I thought that was interesting. It's about lunchtime now, so I'm actually gonna put some sun cream on and then I'm gonna change and go and sit in my Nan's garden because it is so nice and warm today. And I wouldn't mind just like feeling the sun on my face for a little bit, so. Catch you in a bit. <laughs> Good morning, hello. It's now the next day, no. It's been two days. Yesterday, I took a day off. I went for a run. I know, who is she? Where is Hermione? Hated every second of it, by the way. Came home and then played Animal Crossing all day long. Um, that was a very productive day. And um, today I'm cracking on with some work, but before I do that, I just wanted to update you on a few more things for this vlog and flesh it out a little bit because I've done some projects over the last few days that I want to catch up with you on. Catch up with you on? Catch you up on. Okay. I'm going to show you my projects. <laughs> So one of the very productive things that I did over the last few days that I haven't shown you is kind of really stupid, but I put this up in my bathroom. <laughs> yes, very productive. What a thing to put above the toilet. And then the other thing that I did is downstairs. I'm in the garden because I realized this needs a second coat of spray paint, but to cut a long story short, my nan found this bird feeder in my garden that she really wanted, but it was so rusty and old. So I said I'd spray paint it for her to make it look a little bit nicer. And it just needs a second coat now. I think I just need to flip it upside down and get the underneath bits and can give it to her so she can put it in the garden. I'm also doing a lantern, so second coat for both of them. This is what I'm using, it's my favourite at the moment. It's the Rust-Oleum Hammered Metal all surface paint in black and it just kind of gives it a metal looking finish so let's finish this up Ta-da! not perfect but it's a lot better than it was i'm gonna go give it to nan now so yeah those are the very productive little projects i did yesterday and the day before anyway um i'm gonna crack on with some diys now I was planning on putting up an IKEA hack video this week, but it just doesn't feel right to be putting up any kind of videos where you have to go out and buy the supplies. I really don't want to be encouraging people to go to IKEA right now. So I think I'm going to save those, but then again, I know that not everyone watches DIYs to make them. Sometimes people just watch them for fun. So let me know what you think, because I have two IKEA hacks a Poundland video and a thrift haul that I filmed 
mostly edited and they're ready to go i just don't know how i feel about putting them up right now so i'm panicking and i'm filming loads of other projects using stuff around my house but then i also don't want my content to be boring over the next few weeks so i'm stuck uh, you know what's not boring Animal Crossing. Before I sign off, I want to show you what I built yesterday because I'm very, very proud of it. <laughs> okay, so here is what I was doing yesterday. I started planting some flowers to get some hybrid pink hyacinth. Made a little um, cafe area, did some circle stones. And then up here, I've got this little like spa relaxing area. I need to make some more fencing so I can bring it down a bit further. And then up here, I started doing my villagers' houses with these cute little stones and some bamboo and some pine trees. Hey, Ozzy! Oh, he's one of my favourites. I would take a bullet for him. I love you, my dude. The rest of my island's pretty horrendous right now, but if we come up here, there's some more houses. But then, this is my little zen garden. It's so nice and relaxing. Oh my goodness. I'm very happy with this. I spent a lot of time on this. By the way, yes, my character has a mask on because she wants to stay safe. <laughs> this is what I'm working on at the moment. This is like a little um, farmer's market. As you can see, I used one of the custom patterns on this store and it's so cute. So I want to make these ones all different patterns and have them corresponding with what I'm selling. This is my favorite. This is just like a little plant shop. Just like knickknacks. I made this pattern here. The rest I'm not happy with, so I'm going to work on that over the next few days. We've got the pocket camp exclusives over here. Oh, I'm so excited. I love my island. And then my next project. Oh yeah, this is my town hall area kind of cute my next project is to do something at the entrance when you come out the airport and then i've also started building a boardwalk along the beach so i want to do something here as well yeah okay i'm gonna sign off but that's my island so. <laughs> not sure how interested any of you are in animal crossing but um it's what's been keeping me sane over the last few weeks i used to play it back on the nintendo ds and the new version is honestly like the best thing it makes me so happy anyway i guess i should sign off this vlog for now thank you so much for watching if you watched this far happy hand washing and i'll see you next time bye